Okay, so what we're doing today is we're going to um, practice and learn the segment or the a distance formula. And so similar to what we did yesterday or the previous lesson, we need to be able to use this formula. Okay, so here are our steps. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to label our points. And remember, it's x1, y1, and then x2, y2. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into this formula here. This one right here. And this is a kind of an ugly formula, but after you use it a couple times, it's not that bad. And then what we do is we do everything underneath the square root key. So in your calculator, we'll do everything underneath. And I'll show you how to do it using your order of operations, but you can also use a graphing calculator pretty easy. And then what we do is we find the square root. Okay, so let's do a couple problems. So let's look here. I brought the formula down so we can see it. So I'm going to start off by writing what a is. So a is 2, 4, and b is 6, 8. Yeah, right, it's super sloppy. Okay, so I'm going to start off by labeling x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. So I'm just going to write my square root. Okay, and it says x2. So x2 is 6. Make sure you write minus because the formula says minus. And then x1, which is 2. And then I close my parentheses and square it. <coughs> and then it says plus. And now y2, which is 8, minus y1, which is 4. Now, if you have access to a graphing calculator, um, or you're able to turn your calculator, so your phone sideways to use the calculator, you can type this in just like that. As long as you use parentheses and you use your exponent key, you'll be fine. But if you don't have access to that, what we'll have is we'll have 4 squared, because 6 minus 2, and 4 squared. So 4 squared is 16, plus 16, which is 32. So my answer is the square root of 32. And you can keep your, count, you can keep your answer like that. <coughs> or you can type it in and find the square root, and it's 5.65, so 5.7. So either of those answers work. Okay. So if you have access to a calculator, it's a little faster. But if you don't, you're still able to do it. You just have a couple more steps to do. Okay, let's look at this next one. I'll switch colors so we can make it stand out. So B is 6, 8, and C is negative 3, 5. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to label x1, y1, x2, y2, and I'm going to plug it in. And so when I plug it in, remember it's x2, so negative 3 minus 6 squared. And then y2 is 5 minus y1, which is 8. Let's do that thing out a little bit. Okay, so again, we're going to figure out what's underneath right here, okay? So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to either plug that in your calculator or do the math steps and then press play when you think that you're ready. Okay, so this one right here, this is negative nine squared plus negative three squared. When you're doing this, if you don't use parentheses in your calculator, it's gonna give you the wrong answer. But you also could just remember a negative 9 times a negative 9 is a positive 81. Whenever you square a number, it becomes positive. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. So 81 plus 9 is 90. Remember, we put our square root over it. And then if you want to change it to a decimal, the square root of 90 is 9.48. So we'll say it's 9.5. All right. What I'd like you guys to do now is I'd like you to try number three on your own. Start by writing the points, labeling, and plugging it in. And once you have that, press play. Because I don't want you to do the whole problem unless we know we have that part ready. Okay, so let me insert. Okay, I'll switch to one more color. So, okay, hopefully you've tried it. I'm going to do it real quick, and you can double-check your work. So D is negative 7, negative 1, and C is negative 3, 5. So X1, Y1, 
x2, y2. And so when I plug it in, it, you should have gotten negative 3 minus negative 7, and then 5 minus negative 1. Okay? And so we haven't had any of these with these double negatives, but hopefully you remember when you have two negatives, they become plus here, and this one also becomes a plus. So then a negative 3 and a positive 7 is a positive 4, and 5 plus 1 is 6. So 4 squared is 16 plus 36, and so that is, what, 52? So our answer is the square root of 52. And again, you can leave it like that, or you could plug it in and find the decimal, which is 7.2. So this formula does look challenging, right? This is a lot, has a lot of signs, a lot of X's and Y's and numbers. has a lot of stuff. But if you take your time and label the points and just follow the formula and plug things in, then it is doable.